Tell us how you got into music in the first place. Oh, I think I just I fell in love with the Divas. So I was an Aretha Franklin fan, Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey. I was born in the 90s, but I think I should have always been a 60s girl, as you can tell. <laughs> I was born in the 60s, that's great. Just about, yeah. Oh, you look all right. Uh, not, not 1960, actually, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 too kind. So tell us about the single. You're talking about doing a single. Tell us all about that. Okay, so I performed it tonight. Um, and I'm going to release it in January. So I've just done an EP um, and I've also just released a dance track in the club dance charts. It came to number two, which I'm ecstatic about because it had like over 900,000 streams and uh, it, it's nearly a million. 900,000 streams? So I'm Bloody so, hell. I'm so pleased with how that's gone. And so now it's a good time to drop it. We get Christmas out of the way and then January, boom, 2024, let's go. <laughs> Amazing. So what other things have you got lined up? Have you, or what's your sort of ultimate goal, if you like? What, what do you want to achieve? Well, I'm going to Nashville on Monday. So You're going to where? Nashville, Tennessee. 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 I mean, I'm a big country fan, although I don't write much country music, although I have a few country songs in the song bank. But I'm going for three weeks and I'm, I'm doing a, a little gig over there, uh, do some songwriting with two top songwriters, like hit songwriters. Um, and I'm going to go and get vinyl record made as well. So I'm actually going to watch and film one of my records being put onto vinyl. So I'm so excited about it. Amazing. And who are your country influencers? Who would be you? Oh, I know it. Are you, I, I had to stop you nearly. Dolly Parton is my country influence, but I mean, a lot of my music is very kind of based on like that kind of Amy Winehouse, Duffy kind of vibe. But I do have a secret love for country. So I'm not shy about that. <laughs> yeah, I love country. I love sort of the old stuff, Johnny Cash and things like that, you know. Have you been to the Johnny Cash Museum? Never, unfortunately. You need to go. To you need too much Johnny Cash for it. <laughs> You need to go to Nashville and go to the Johnny Cash. I need to do too much before I die. You need to do it. Go. <laughs> That's very kind. Lost. Absolutely love it. And this, you did so well tonight. Amazing. And your 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 man was good. The old guitarist. So that's Marco. So he's he's a Chinelli brother. He's got a band called Chinelli Brothers. Who I went to see a Yamaha in Soho tonight with Mr. Jules Holland. So it was nice to see him and um, hang out with those guys. <laughs> Well I'm, well, I'm looking forward to seeing you sort of progress and everything else and amazing. And thank you so much for the lovely interview. <laughs> Love you very much.